Good afternoon, and thank you so very much. And I just want you to know that you're going to become educationally intimate with me. Is that okay? That's fine. Now look, I don't talk to dead people. <laughs> Say yes. 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 Okay. It's all about not coming here from Organic Root Stimulator. We don't come to tell you what you don't know. We come to enhance that which you do know. And this is important. I'm dealing with hairdressers now. And we have such a, a crisis in our industry. And the crisis is that everybody thinks they know, but they really don't know. But if you do know, you don't know enough. I've been in the business for 41 years, and I'm still learning. And probably you've never had the opportunity to be with Dr. Reginald Mitchell. I am quite extemporaneous. I don't believe in being boring. I might have you laugh one or two times. It's OK. But when I leave here and you leave here, I want you to feel good about me and feel good about you. Now, how many of you are fabulous hairdressers? How many? <laughs> and what's wrong with you? Everybody should say, I am. <laughs> That's what I want. That's what I want. If you don't think, who's going to think? This is why Gary Gardner, who is the founder of Organic Root Stimulator, Namaste Laboratory, the name of our company, and the range of products is Organic Root Stimulator, we have a philosophy, and the philosophy is to meet the unmet needs of the consumer. I am Dr. Reginald Mitchell. Have a PhD, MBA, BS. That's a lot of stuff. It doesn't matter. If you have no common sense, then you're no good. There are a lot of educated fools. But how many people can really deal with what is going on in the industry today? And meeting the unmet needs of the consumer simply means that you have customers that come to you and you are very special. You're a doctor. You didn't know it, doctor. I congratulate you. You push your first name? Sarah. Sarah? Sarah. Sarah? Doctor Sarah. You're a doctor. Why? Because I expect you to know all there is to know about hair. I expect you to be able to help me when I'm losing my hair, when I'm thinning. I expect you to tell me why I'm shedding so much. See, this is what Organic Root Stimulator is all about. And we are the type of company that comes to you not to have you just buy, 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 buy. No. Of course you got to pay my salary. you got to pay my airfare, my hotel, and my cocktails. It's OK. But no, it's not all about that. It's about you taking all that we have to give to you to make you better. And today, I'm looking at each one of you eye to eye, face to face. Ladies, I'm not flirting. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, I think. <laughs> but I want you to know I'm coming to you because I want you to feel Dr. Rich. I want you to feel me. And our company was, again, the philosophy of meeting the unmet needs of the consumer. We had so many problems in the industry. How many of you have people come to you now losing their hair in the top? Any? In the sides, in here. And they want to say, why? And the answer is not always stress. The answer, nine times out of 10, it's hereditary, and it's called androgenetic alopecia. It means that, now you want to spell that, but I'm not going to come to you. However it sounds, that's how you write it. <laughs> What's going to happen is that when, you, when you're able to answer questions like that and let them know that you didn't do anything wrong. Have you ever been in a situation, maybe you have not because you're a fabulous hairdresser, but I have been in a situation where someone accused me of taking their hair out. And they did not know anything about alopecia. And I wrote a, 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 a little uh, brochure uh, when I was here in, in, in the UK for, for cancer research. I wrote a little brochure about the loss of hair. And it's more than one reason. Stress is not the only answer. You've got to be better than that. When I sit in your chair and I ask you, help me, what's wrong with me? I want you to be able to tell me what's going on and say, oh, you got stress. It's more, it's deeper than that. You know, you can be cute if you want to, but I've seen women, gorgeous women, talking to me. Woo. Woo. You know? Man, don't think we're free of that. Wait till you get my age. You'll have it too. It comes. But that is a resurgence of estrogen. And I want you to know that men, we have female hormones in us. And women, you have testosterone in you. It's not, it has nothing to do with being freakish. You find some men who never shave. 
hair is smooth as the baby's behind. Then you have women with hair on the chest and mustaches. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that the testosterone level and the estrogen level is so different, it's imbalanced. So therefore, we got to be able to explain that to our clients. Do you know that every medication that is prescribed to you is a detriment to your hair? Everything. Sometimes you may be blamed for changing product on your client. You're using, you've been using regular for years. All of a sudden, they are on high blood pressure medicine and they accuse you of changing the strength of relaxers, not straightening like it used to, you should be able to tell them that that high blood pressure medication makes the hair more resistant. So you have to up the strength of the relaxer. Did you know when you change your diet, it affects your hair growth? When you change your diet, did you know that hair only has a life expectancy of four to seven years? You have clients come to you, I've had this hair all of my life. Well, something happened, you did something to my hair, I had it all my life. You're alive. Your hair died four years ago. That's new hair. And as we grow older, the size of the hair diminishes. The diameter of the hair shelf gets smaller and smaller. They blame you for taking their hair out. No, dear, you're getting older. Adjust. There were things I used to do I can't do anymore. I just could dance all night and stay up all night long. Now I need my sleep. <laughs> there were things that used to could eat, I can't eat anymore. Every seven years we change metabolically. I don't know, you might not agree with me, you might want to be beautiful and not express yourself the way I express myself. I don't care, I'm proud to be getting old. The thing of it is when you find out why things happen, you feel better. And I want each and every one of you here under the sound of my voice to be that doctor of hair. When they come to you, I want you to explain. This is what's happening in the industry. We're not what we should be to our clients. Do you know your clients tell you everything? You're a psychiatrist. You are a love-lorn love -long counselor. You're a marriage counselor. You're a best friend. You're a doctor. They expect you to know all of this because you sit down and while you are shampooing, if you don't have an assistant, you get all the intimate things that's going on in their life. They tell you that because they trust you. And it's very, very important. Every pill that the doctor says for you to take and gets you, it's that good for you. I understand no taking. I take a lot of pills. I've had a couple of heart attacks, so I'm not going to be a fool. Doctors will put it to make us better. But I want you to, you must tell your clients that every medication that is prescribed affects your hair.